Hi, Jeff Demore here, Converter Accessory Corporation. Today we'll be showing you how to repair one of CAC's core lock air chucks. As a side note, um, just so you're aware, air chucks and air shafts for converter accessory are exactly the same. They're exactly the same construction, it's just air shafts are a custom length. So any length that deviates from an air, uh, an air chuck length is just called an air shaft. Um, today we'll be showing you how to repair an air chuck, but the repair procedure for an air shaft is exactly the same. Thank you. Hi, today we're going to demonstrate how to repair a core lock air chuck. You're going to requ it's going to require simple basic tools, scissors or a knife, a 1 8 Allen wrench, 5 64 Allen wrench, and that's all you really need to disassemble a CEC core lock air chuck. We're going to begin with the disassembly. Make sure that the air, if there is any air in the chuck, is released. We release the air on the valve end of the chuck, which we call, and this is your plain end of the chuck, which we're going to remove. It has three set screws, and these set screws are going to be loosened up with a 1 8 Allen wrench. They don't need to be pulled all the way out, just loosened up three quarters of the way out. We're going to remove the plain end cap. We're going to remove the segments. These are your core lock segments. Hold the segments with your hand. Bring the chuck down on the table like this and just pull out slowly. So now, since the chuck is all apart, as far as the segments, you're ready to remove your inflating tubing with the two tab clamps. And you're going to proceed with the 564 Allen wrench and you're going to remove your plain end tab clamp first. You're going to proceed to your valve end tab clamp and you're going to remove this one too with the 564 Allen wrench. Now you're going to unravel your tubing. It bring, you're going to bring up the tubing on a valve extension up like this and remove your tubing from your valve extension. Now your valve is loose. You will unbend the extension and push the valve out of your chuck body like this. Work the copper tubing throughout and remove your valve. Now you're ready for the repair parts. Now <clears throat> your chuck is ready for the replacement parts. We're going to begin with the parts that are going to be we're going to be replacing that uh, that are your valve, your inflating tube, and your end plug. The inflating tubing, the length is determined by your old length that you removed. So we're going to take the valve with the extension and place it into the chuck in the valve, valve end. 
We're gonna press the body in all the way so it seats to the bottom of its seat. Then we're gonna take the copper tubing and we're gonna form it around the first coil of the body. The valve cannot protrude above the surface of the chuck. So it's gonna look like this. Then we're gonna take your tubing and we'll put it on to your valve extension. The tubing has to be placed on the extension further than the tab seat. Now we're ready to replace the tab clamp. Using the 564 Allen wrench. Make sure the tab is placed so it seats in its proper pocket. I'm going to tighten it all up. The clamp has to be flush with the body, diameter of the body. Now we're going to wind up the inflating tubing. When we're winding up the tubing, <clears throat> make sure that the tubing, there's two flats. There's a top and a bottom. On the top you have the, the wider top and the narrower bottom that it lays properly in the groove. Once we get to the stage, we're going to take the plug and insert it into the tubing itself. Sometimes this process could be a little bit stubborn at this point. If it gets to that point, use some water with some soapy solution and just start pressing in the plug. The plug should be inserted most of the way into the tubing. Take the tubing, place it beyond your tab clamp pocket and replace your tab clamp at the plain end of your chuck. Also make sure that your tab clamp is properly properly set and it seats in its own pocket. Use the 564 wrench and tighten the tab clamp down. Make sure the tab clamp also is flush with the diameter of the body. Now, the procedure is all done and you're ready for your uh, segments and the end cap replacement. Now that your chuck has all the uh, replacement parts installed, you're ready for the final assembly. The final assembly, what you will do is you'll take your segments, place the air chuck in, into the segments, grasp it, hold it up. Make sure that your locking segment, which is this one, is in line with your locking pocket in the valve end cap. 
drop all the segments in. Make sure they all line up down at the bottom. Replace your plain end cap. Also aligning with the locking segment up on top. So you have the locking segment as an alignment bar for both of the end caps. Retighten your end cap with the three set screws. Now your chuck is ready for operation. What we're going to do is we're going to test it by applying some air into it. There's your chuck fully repaired and ready to go with air holding in, in the chuck. We're also going to test the chuck into a core by placing the chuck inside, making sure it's, it's a proper, proper fit, that the tubing is well set in its grooves, and it has a proper play inside the core. Now, we're also going to check the locking of the chuck. Now your chuck is well locked into the core, which that's how it should serve its purpose. It has a lot of torque, and that's how it's done.